Hi guys, Mark the Knife Maker 123 back with another bad video. Um, I have to apologize about that. I got a cam. I went out and got a cam. It's a really cool, really small one that I got from a friend of mine, but the battery is no good. The battery won't charge up. So as soon as I get a new um, battery for it, or I might just go on out and buy my own new cam, I'll start doing an outdoor um, vids the best I can. Anyway, um, sorry to always babble. Just wanted to start by um, thanking once again Survive N2 um, and Sarah Dreaming. Thank you both for your um, comments and taking the time to watch my videos and leaving comments. Um, Hiram Cook for your videos on the alcohol burners. Thanks to um, Hiram when we switch from using 91% isopropyl alcohol to um, some of the things that he's experimenting with, with um, like methanol and um, the heat. Anyway, um, I also wanted to thank Bla um, Black Oracle 69 for your videos. Uh, I watched a lot, not a lot, I watched all your videos. Black Oracle 69, click down in um, the link to everyone, everyone that I thank, I'm, uh, I sub to you. So if I mention anyone, look down in my subs list if you want to look at um, their videos. One more time, Black Oracle 69 thanks for your vids, and a lot of the comments that I babble on about, he covers a lot better in his videos. One of the ones that, that I just watched from him is about another guy, N-O-S-S -S number four. He does um, destruction tests on knives, and as I mentioned a few times, um, I suggest going with anything from Black, I mean from Cold Steel. NOS 4 did a destruction test on Cold Steel's um, Kukri machete. Uh, it only cost 15 bucks. It will last a lifetime and it, it, it's next to indestructible. If you watch NOS 4's channel, you can see tests on all different kinds of um, blades from the best of the best to the $15 ones, and you'll see. And a lot of the ones that have little tiny screws, the screws come out as soon as you start pounding on them. So, like I mentioned in a few of my vids, try to avoid the knives with the little tiny screws and watch um, Black Oracle 69's vids for a lot more helpful tips and a lot better videos than mine. So, uh, enough babbling. I wanted to make this test because I'd like to try and redeem myself with uh, Bannock making. I've been watching a lot more videos. Um, and thanks to Black Oracle and a couple more of you guys doing videos on this stuff, um, I'm going to give it a try again. So it's going to be in a couple videos. I'll try and keep them short. I'll try not to babble too much, but that's half the fun of making these. So I hope you guys enjoy listening to me babble. Anyway, I'm sure if you watch my um, How to Make Bannock videos, you'll see how I made this batch. Let me just set those aside. Okay, all I'm going to do is take two of the bags that I mixed, that got half a cup of the Bannock mix. Yes, I said to mix, um, mix it in the bag. You can do that, but I thought this would be a little bit quicker. And I, again, I'd like to experiment on um, quantities and to try and get this down. So thanks for bearing with me. I'll try and babble about stuff that's coming up. Um, once again, I'm going to get a really good camera. And I'm going to start doing outdoor vids as the weather starts to change and get colder. That's when I really like to go on out. Um, so let's see, I'm going to add four big spoons. I can get the raisins to come on out. You don't have to be exact. It just adds a little bit of uh, flavor to it. I can get them to come out. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go with like four or five spoons of the raisins. They're not coming out too good. Should have mixed those up first. Let me go with one more. I really want to keep them in there. It's a good uh, trail snack too. So you can get the, the white raisins. I like a lot for snacks. If you're going to make trail mix, try and experiment with different things. You can put um, almonds. You can put pretty much anything you want in there to make your trail mix. I'm sure you guys have seen those videos. I know I babble, but I'm going to add just a couple spoons of 
sugar to sweeten it up. I added a lot of brown sugar, but I like, I'm looking for a really sweet snack. I hope this comes out good so I got a snack to eat while I babble. Just gonna mix that up a little bit. Okay, if I can figure out the can that I just got, I'm gonna do some outdoor videos. I don't know if I mentioned anyone in any of my earlier videos, but I live right across the street from a state park. Letchworth State Park is right across the street from me. Um, the state parks in New York State have a lot of rules about what you can and can't do. So I only do a, a couple day hikes over there. But if I got caught doing the um, fire making skills videos and stuff like that in the park, you can get in trouble. The odds of somebody catching you um, are pretty slim. I see a lot of you guys making the videos, and the whole time that you're making the videos, you're looking around because I don't think you're supposed to be where you are at the time. Or um, Anyway, a lot of you guys are making videos in places you maybe shouldn't be. Um, so again, I'm going to try and make a couple of those videos. Hopefully I won't get caught and get in too much trouble. Um, I'm going to try and do a lot of the cold weather, cold weather shelter videos in my backyard. I've got a pretty big backyard. Um, my son and I just bought a bar, so I live above a bar. Um, my son and I are trying to get open, and our backyard is fairly big, but it's kind of open. And one of the back corners, there's some scrub brush trees, a little area where I might be able to set up uh, some of the outdoor shelter chests for the cold weather gear and cold weather shelters that um, that I have used. I'm gonna try and hook up um, a live webcam poking out our back window and I'll leave the link to this place that I found so you guys can have, um, just broke my spoon, live videos um, showing the outside and the shelter, making the shelters. You won't have to stick with watching the videos. I'll just leave the link to the webcam so you can watch, watch me building the shelters and see that I'm really out there spending the night. Um, I'll try and hook up a thermometer that'll show, hopefully, if we get down to um, below 20 below, I'd like to make some videos uh, the best I can of me inside the shelter and the shelters, um, what I do, and um, some of the fun that you can have when you're out when it's that cold. Okay, I'm going to cut this video short. I'm going to get another spoon because I just broke my spoon. I'm going to mix this up, and I'll be right back with part two. Might be a few parts, but here comes part two. Thanks for watching.